Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my procedurally generated Update Aquatic server. With me, your host, Update Aquatic Man. Last time, we worked on the Update Aquatic Wolf Farm you see before us, and we did pretty good. I asked you to leave a comment below to let me know how many wool I would get, and if you were one of the lucky viewers who said you will only put one pair of shears in your inventory and forget to turn on the redstone timing, you are correct. Let us hope that the lag is not so bad that I can't get down here. That is one of the problems with this wool farm. It has caused some lag issues, and now I have a difficult time starting my launch into space whenever I have rockets. You see, they're just not, they're just not happening. There we go. It's a, it's a little difficult. It's a little difficult now. And they seem to last longer than I remember them lasting. Which I which might not be a problem if I was going long distances. Now might be the time to go for something. Uh, the high altitude orbit challenge. But it would only last as long as uh, this thing was in the area. Because after all, there are... Wow. 2,500... No, wait. I'm reading the wrong thing. Still. 5,000 entities. 6, 7, 8, 9,000, 1,000 entities. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,000 entities, if I kind of look in that direction. EGAS, that's a lot. Maybe this should have been the last thing I built, right? All right, but we did do some light blue wool. So let's see how many light blue wool we got just from one pair of shears. Not too shabby. So almost one row of them, I think it turned out pretty well as a build goes. Don't know how often we're actually going to need wool, but I wanted to make it as part of the overall hole. And speaking of the overall hole... Hole, H W H O L E, not to be confused with H O L E. I've decided that we're going to do a couple other builds here today. Not not two today, but a couple other builds in this section. One will be starting uh, right about right about here, maybe right about here. Right. Let's see. Oh, it lines up with this just fine. So let's go over here and line up over there with that other light. That should be at just that point. Also, will that give us enough space? I think it should. Barely, barely. All right, so let's come in. No, 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 no. Let's come in three from there. And we'll come in three from the other side. And this will be the range that we're working with for the next build. Not sure how wide it's going to have to be. Uh, we'll work on that in just a little bit. But the next build is going to be my storage system. I can no longer use the Iron Farm storage units to hold all of those other materials. Well, I guess I could. I guess I could, but I'd rather not. You know, I'd rather have an actual storage facility in place. So today's project is going to be building a storage facility to take care of all of the nooks and crannies and ins and outs. So if I make it at least one, two, three, four, five out uh, before I actually start doing it. So this would be like one wall of it. Let's go ahead and dig it all the way down here to the edge here. This might be a little long, so we'll divide it up into two sections as we did with the with the wool farm over there. And let's see here. We'll need I want to oh, so this what did I say here? One, two, three, four, five. This will be a wall. This will be a space. And then inside the space, wall, wall, space. Those will be space. And then I'll need to have chests I guess here so if I do the chest so that you come in through the middle and all the sortings on this side uh, yeah we could do that and we'll build it up I don't know how high we're gonna build it up I mean there's a lot of stuff to think about here three four five six that would kind of be one layer of redstone and maybe I do it again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that's 17. This is going to be a little bit bigger, but this kind of gives me an idea. Come on, deploy wings. Ooh, they deployed. It kind of gives me an idea of the height it's going to be, and this kind of gives me an idea of the width that's going to be. Hmm. Now I'm also going to need to think about... All right, so one way or the other, I'm going to have to put chests in, and if this is the wall layer and this is a space layer, uh, let's presume that we put it in the back here. So then this would be... If we're going to build the redstone contraption, right? So, boom, boom, boom. Right? So, it'll be a comparator, redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust, into a repeater here, over there, and then, boom, that guy there. So, it would need at least that, and 
we're going to use this andesite as the hopper chain, which would be here. And then the chests would be this guy. Uh, chests would go like this. So that's how much space I would need if I abutted it directly against the wall. And then I'd want a couple spaces to walk around in front of it. So one, two, three, hmm, four, five. And then this would be another wall. Right, so we'll say that's the wall layer. And then, yeah, this would be other stuff. So this would be uh, putting this down half slabs. So it would be this big. I think that'd be pretty big enough, don't you? Let's see here. And if I, I decided this line, this line, this line is where it's going to be. Wow, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. But I think that is the appropriate size to have a storage facility with two layers. Man, oh man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be able to house individual uh, wood plank items. It'll be able to house individual half slabs, all of that good stuff. I think this will work. I think that's a good height. I think this is a good width. And I think that leaves us plenty of space here in the middle, if I'm counting right, to do another little project. So hold on a second. Let me count this one up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A landing for that. Uh, redstone for that. Landing for that. Redstone for that. A walkway section. Yeah, this could work. This could be a nice little middle section later on. I have a little fountain thing planned over here as well. All right, so let me go ahead and dig this out and lay the foundation for the sorting building, the sorting system, and the long-term storage of materials right here. All right, getting this cleared out. Back in just a moment. All right, my friends, as you can see, I have put in a little bit of a bounding edge here for this little lakeside front over here. Was there dirt? Yeah, that guy got, that's got to go. Make it a little look a little more sturdy that way. There we go. Just the little odds and ends. Got to do the odds and ends. And I put in half slabs all around what is going to be the sorting system, collection system, storage system. That's the word I'm looking for. Over here, I stopped uh, for a couple reasons. One, I've kind of run out of half slabs. I've got about 15 left. And two, I wasn't sure how long I'm going to make this little center element when I get to it. You can kind of see the outline of how wide it's going to be and where certain cosmetics are going to be for it, but I don't know how long I'm going to bring it out. Maybe, well, I guess probably right up to the edge here. And then that'll kind of give us a little walk space there, but we'll get to that when we get to that. In the meantime, I wanted to come in here and start thinking about where I'm laying down these items here. And if I did this right, and I certainly hope I did, this will be the line that the first couple chests go down onto. Now, I'm going to leave a gap in the wall here. Well, this will be the wall and then a gap to get around in. For later right and it's going to be six high i think so let me while i'm doing this also put in the hoppers that are going to go in place there oops well that's not going to work like that let me continue upwards continue upwards three boink four <laughs> all right and five Boink, and six. Now that should be the most I could reach from down below. Bang, and bang. And then this layer here will have to be a layer that doesn't actually run into anything. So let me go ahead and do this, right? And this is going to be where the redstone is going to be taking place. So this one and this one for sure. Let me go ahead and put this comparator down there so it's there and then that'll allow me to do this face that backwards and then this will be the line it'll go down and across I think and the other side will start up there and come over here and come down and go across that way or maybe I have it go yeah because that's gonna be out facing the water so this one will have to come from up above right uh, and run oh I oh fudge I'll get it later and run that away. So it'll come down and run that away. Uh, all right, so I'll get that working in a little bit. Meanwhile, over here, let me go ahead and start getting some redstone dust in place. Falling to my doom here. All right, and this guy, let's see here. That for sure is gonna have dust on it. Uh, that's gonna be like that. And then this is gonna be our redstone torch right here. Boink. So what do I gotta do to fix this up real fast? I don't have any dirt on me anymore. I gotta pillar up the old-fashioned way. 
boink, and what did I say, dust there. This comes out. This becomes a redstone repeater. And then when it comes time to fill everything in, that's what I'll be doing. All right, so this unit is going to be mirrored all the way across here. Let me count out how many this will be, though. I'll need to count how many blocks this is. Um, I, I guess would have been very simple if I'd have kept an eye on these blocks, which are eight apart, I think. Seven, then eight. Seven, then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so eight, 16, 32, 40, and then one, two, three, four, five to the wall. Alright, so 5 plus 8, I'm double checking it, 16, 32, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 50 minus 2 is 48, 50 minus 2 more is 46, so somewhere in the middle if I take out 2, I will want to go, well divide it by 2, so 23, and then three in the middle. So let's go 23 from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So this, I believe, is the center of the two sides, right? So I need to fill in these and then decide whether or not I'm going to have a three wide gap in between, which I think I will, or not. <laughs> All right, I'm going to continue building the sorting system, and I'll come back and I'll let you see what it looks like once I have the first layer in place. Well, I've been at this for quite a while now, and I've only got nine hoppers left, and I've used up a lot of chests, and I've planted some more trees over there, and hopefully they're growing quickly because this is how much we've finished so far. Half completed. Half. Half, I say, completed. And I'm beginning to think that maybe with all of this storage, I might only do one layer instead of two. That would be super large and that would work out. But I also think maybe I'll just put an observational deck on top, right? So everybody, there's this is plenty of storage for what I have. In fact, mm, eh, half of this might be, but this is definitely enough. Once I'm finished with both sides of it, it will most certainly be enough. And I'm thinking that's where I'm going to stop as far as going straight up with it goes. And I think, yeah, I will put an observational deck on the top once we get to it. Now, I'm wondering, how am I going to load things up into it? I might just, in this corner maybe, in this corner maybe have like a soul sand thing that goes here. And do I have a dispenser of some sort? All right, let's let this block represent a dispenser. Which I could put underneath right so let me pull this stuff up real fast all right so if I have oh I can do the whole clock and everything down here yeah this could work out better than I thought it was going to okay so let's do this real fast if I put like soul sand right here to create a bubble elevator then this could be a uh, dropper and since it's going through a solid block it'll go up and keep going up all right so if that's where that's going to be, then I could put, oh, I can do a whole clock thing right here. So I could dig out this section and do my standard, you know, three by two clock. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's just go ahead and do that. But first, let's go ahead and pull this up and make sure we're using blocks that let me know from the bottom that that's what's going on here which I can't do because I don't have enough. All right, hold on a second. All right, I grabbed a little bit of iron here. So this is gonna be my foundation for the redstone. Let's go ahead and put this comparator there. I believe that's where that needs to go. And let's put a repeater here and here and redstone all around here. Oh, one redstone short. We'll fix that in just a moment. But then that'll be my dropper, and that'll be my soul sand. And then I can kind of block off a lot of this so that nothing comes out from above. I'll be back. Let me just go ahead and put that piece in now. And then I can cover this stuff up, and we'll do this in just a second. So that's where that will be. And I'll probably put the chest... Well, I, could, I guess since that's going to be the dropper, I can put a hopper into that. 
and then my chest could go right here but again I want to have it look nice and pretty so let's get rid of all the bits that need to come out of here and uh, that bit didn't need to come out boom there here and these two here there we go oh, one short and a chest oh, I wanted to put it up I want to put it up top here so we'll go ahead and put another dropper in there and then we'll put the chest on top of it oh my gosh stop being so difficult already all right so that'll feed into there all right we get that one extra little bit of redstone and I get that will be for later and continue working on this onto the other side and then we'll come back and see where we're at functionally and then we'll build the observational platform I think as the Sun attempts to set on another beautifully polygonal day here on my updated aquatic server as you can see it keeps skipping backwards let me go ahead and line up that crosshair there and boop, it keeps skipping back keep skipping back Presumably because of all the lag. Presumably because of all the lag. All right, as you can see, I have completed the second half of the storage system, and I've gone with a really simple, you know, glass case design, trying to keep in the theme with everything else around here. I might have to add a little bit more. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, though. Not really sure what I'm going to do in the back here. I've completed all of the uh, sorting system bits except for these uh, last couple. This one has no redstone on top of it. So I guess I could reclaim that bit and that bit, but I'm just going to leave it there for symmetry's sake for now. Uh, this is just going to be the catch-all drawer for anything that comes in. Over here, I've uh, just like on the other side, I've put in a water elevator so I can come up to the observation deck and take a look around at things if I so want to. Right? And I think I'm going to go ahead and put in the first couple little blocks. I ran out of iron blocks here, as you can see. I have to finish that up. I'm going to put in the first couple sorting system bits and give it a shot before I put in this whole observational platform, which will eventually have, let's see here, this uh, blue stained glass kind of going around it as well, I think. You know, kind of give it that, that aesthetic. We'll see. We'll see as we come to it. All right, so in here, first things first. Oh, why is there something in there? Those kelp. Okay. Well, fortunately for me, it wasn't enough. So we're going to put... One, two, three, four, and 32 <laughs> blocks there. And one, two, three, four, and 32 blocks there. I think I'm going to put four of the stone, then do two grass, two dirt, two cobble, uh, maybe two of the other big blocks too. We'll see. All right, let's see how this works out. We're going to go ahead and put in all of the stone. This is the only thing I have sorting right now, so hopefully <laughs> it'll catch it all and start sorting it in there. Where are they going? I hear it clicking, which means something's in there, but are they not? Oh, no. This would be quite problematic if they weren't actually going through that soul sand and coming up here. Let's find out. Come in here. They are not. Why aren't they? All right, let's go down here real fast and... See what we can do about potentially changing the mechanic of it. Everything's going into the hopper. I can take this block off. Oh, they're just popping straight up and going into that dropper again. Alright, so let me move this hopper. Uh-oh. Over here. And... We'll put another block there, and then that should prevent it from happening. Let me go ahead and stick some of these in there and see if it starts popping up now. Yep, there they go. All right, so I'll just replace this. I'll put a hopper down here, and we'll be good to go. All right. Oh, you know what? I want to keep this bit. <laughs> and give me, give me some of these. <laughs> right there, and there, and then this, this, this. Oh, and i got to put in one more. I guess right there. All right. So it's working now. One presumes. Open up the chest. Here they come. All right. Sweet. 
So let me get some more glass and fill in the top bits of it and start bringing on all the items over to start sorting them out. Well, my friends, as the slowly setting sun and high diving flaming diver <laughs> comes jumping into view, they love doing it at dusk. It's such a beautiful experience. <laughs> we are wrapping up the last little bit of the observational deck. As you can see, I've got items in the system filtering through as we speak. If, uh, let's see here. Oh, that torch needs to go. At some point, uh, you'll be able to see a redstone torch being turned on and off as it uh, slowly filters the items out. We have maybe... I started getting some random stuff. The first side is pretty much all that, you know, excess dig material, excavation material is what I'm looking for. And the other side is miscellaneous. I went ahead and put a whole bunch of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for there? Quartz items in one section. I put sea lanterns. I put um, various glass bits. There's actually some blue stained glass down there at some point but uh, I don't know if I'm going to have it all filled in there might be just enough stuff in that junk drawer to see how we go but there we go we've completely finished it now it looks pretty good there's no way to really get out other than to jump up and fly somewhere but we have nowhere to fly so there you go I've moved all of my chests from over here to over here and I have put them back into here I've left this one out because next time I think we're gonna work on a couple of more of the iron farms but if you want to see iron farms and you want to see wool farms and you want to see algae production facilities then by all means check out the playlist on the bottom left because that is all the time i have for today if you'd like to see me work on the mystery item that's going to go in this middle section next time along with a couple of the uh, iron farms then by all means please do consider subscribing for more content like that coming real soon until next time however Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again real soon.